Hi everyone, Sandra here from the Schwoben's Nest. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful Valentine topiary. You start out with a medium sized styrofoam ball from the dollar store and a whole bunch of different flowers. You can choose any colors you like. I've got some dark pink, some light pink, and then I've got some ivory because I want to create an ombre effect. If you're not sure what ombre means, it's spelled O-M-B-R-E. It means that it's a gradual color change from dark to light or light to dark in the same type of color tones. You could just apply the flowers whole onto the styrofoam ball, but I decided to take the petals apart and do something a little different. Instead of using glue to attach the petals to the styrofoam ball, I decided this time just to use some straight pins. I used the end of a paintbrush to just make a starter hole and then I'm going to grab the wooden dowel that I'm using and I'm just going to be pushing that into the styrofoam ball to get it in there firmly. Starting at the top of the styrofoam ball, I'm going to take one of the ivory petals and use a couple of straight pins to pin it in place. For the remaining petals, I'll be taking the whole piece and folding it in half, and then I'll be placing it up against the original petals that are there and then pinning the bottom portion onto the styrofoam ball. The effect that I want to achieve is for all of the petals to be sticking out instead of laying flat. I'm going to continue doing this all the way around the first petal that I laid down, making sure that all of the petals are standing up and looking really nice and fluffy. One thing you want to make sure of is that you're pushing the bottom part of the petal that you'll be pinning up against the original petals that are there. So they're all pushing against each other and standing straight up. Before I started, I needed to make sure that I had all of the sizes of these petals the same. So I went ahead and made little piles of two or three that are pretty much the same size. So you can see these white ones, the ones that I'm using right now are about a medium size. And then there's the other next pile in front of it, which is a little bit larger. I'm always using the smaller petals first and then moving on to the larger ones. So now I'm starting with the pink and you can see the ones that I'm picking up are the small ones. So I'm, again, I'm starting with the smaller petals and moving on to the larger ones as I go. Here's a look at it with the ivory and just the lighter pink petals. Now that I got towards the bottom, I noticed that the first hole that I made for the dowel was off center. So I had to create a new one. And so I decided to just leave it in now so I could make sure that the petals and the colors and how everything's going to fit isn't crooked. I thought it would be a good idea to use a few leaves to add a little bit more color. The last thing I did was just take a few extra little petals and pin them at the bottom to cover up the rest of the styrofoam ball. For the base of the topiary, I'm going to use this white dish that I got at a thrift store a while back and it has a nice little lid for it, but I won't be using that for now. Using Dollar Tree's floral foam, I'm just going to go ahead and size it to the size of the container and then push it into the container using hot glue at the bottom to secure it in place. Most topiary trees that you see have moss or something 
green at the bottom. I don't like using moss. It makes a mess and it's just so dusty. And then I have to use hairspray to hold it in place. So I decided to grab some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope and glue that in a circular pattern to cover up the green foam. I used hot glue and started on the inside and then wrapped the rope around and every couple of twirls I added some more hot glue to hold it in place. I hope you enjoyed my video and got some Valentine inspiration. If you did, please like, comment and share my video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and click the bell to get notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for watching.